covers nearly 70% of our planet, but it's not all fresh enough for us to drink or clean enough for animals to live in. But we have figured out a way to fix that. Hi, my name is Benham. And I'm Karen, and let us show you a whole new way to clean water. Most current water purification systems use filtration, where water is passed through a material which blocks dirt and contaminants from getting through. But these systems aren't always very efficient and aren't very practical for environmental emergencies like oil spills. So we wanted to take a new approach using a common material in a whole new way. And that material is silica, the main ingredient in glass and sand. But we aren't using it by itself. We're going to coat it with something a bit more special, a type of material that repels water, but attracts oil. The coating is only a few nanometers thick, about 50,000 times thinner than the width of a human hair. And to add the coating, we are going to use a plasma reactor. In one part of our reactor, we add silica, and in another part, we place the coating material. The reactor excites it from a liquid to a gas and finally into a plasma. When the plasma comes into contact with the silica, it forms a coating over the entire surface. This can take from a couple of minutes to an hour, and it changes the colour of the silica from white to yellow and makes it repel water. And here's our finished product, ready to clean some water. Today we're going to try out a few different samples with different types of oil. The oil sits on top because it's lighter and doesn't mix with the water. We simply add some treated silica and start stirring. Then depending on the type of oil, within a few minutes, the coating has absorbed all of the oil. This makes it heavy and it sinks to the bottom. And there you have it, the oil is completely separated from the water. Then it's really easy to remove the water by simply pouring it out and leaving behind the blobs of silica and oil, which we can then throw away. The process is exactly the same for other types of contaminants, like bacteria, except we use different coatings with slightly different properties. We hope that our new technique will be used in water treatment plants, and it would be simple to add to current sand filtration systems. So thanks to a new way at looking at coatings and sand, we have got a new way to clean water.